there's one of these bags that fit more than the other and there's one of these bags that actually fit a full face helmet in them so let's get into it hey y'all that's, that's I my intro. You're what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. I thought it might be a fun, cool little idea just to put both of these bags head to head. My Leather Pro bags on my 2020 Low Rider S versus the stock stretch bags on my 2021 Rogue Lab Special. Now, with that being said, I got some goodies right here that we're gonna be packing up the bags with. So I just got I, I got an MK sweatshirt here. So Yes, we got that. I got a, a pair of denims. I got a pair of Vans. I got all my GoPro equipment stuff in this little box right here. I have another GoPro. We also have some thrash and supply gloves. And then I got this Harley bag, which I usually take with me. Uh, I took it with me in my last long trip that I took up to Laconia. It was a six hour ride up there. Um, and usually on, on that trip, I was out there for two days, two, three days and I'm able to pack up all my belongings in here. So if I'm out on the, on the road for two or three days, honestly, all I need is two pair of pants, uh, two t-shirts, two or three pair of underwears, two or three pair of socks, and that's it. Like You, you travel light. I've learned a lot over my uh, traveling adventures, uh, traveling all over the world, that you kind of don't need uh, so many things. And last but not least, I have my, uh, my built helmet here, this is the helmet that I use to motor vlog. Nothing fancy, but yeah, we're somehow we're gonna get this helmet into one of those bags. Now, enough talking, let's just get into the video. All right, so we'll start with the uh, Harley bag first. Open that up. We'll start right off the bat, let's just jump into the bag because the bag is the one where I usually pack up most of my stuff and fits perfectly in the bag. Now, like I said before, um, I usually put like two pair of denims in there, uh, two t-shirts or a sweatshirt, um, and all the little stuff, you know, toothbrush and blah, 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 and all that good hygienic stuff. Um, so we got the bag fully in there, so I have a lot of space in the front. So I'm able to put my GoPro accessory little box here. Um, I'm able to put my other GoPro back over here. Um, I'm able to roll up these denims if I want an extra pair of denims. See if we can stuff them in there. Uh, we can lay flat. Let's lay the denim flat in there. Now we have my thrashing gloves. And we'll close. It closes good. I think we can fit something else in there. Uh, let's just roll up the hoodie. Let's see, we got that in there. As a matter of fact, a second pair of shoes are more important. You probably already have a hoodie in there. So, let's do. Uh, that's gonna be tough. Boom. I think we can still fit another hoodie. Let's try it. Long way. Boom. So yeah, not bad. You can actually fit a lot of stuff in there. That's only one bag. So obviously we have a secondary bag right here that we can fill up with a bunch of goodies your drinks, your snacks, your food, um, another bag full of stuff. Or if you're traveling with your lady, then this will be your bag, that will be your lady's bag. Now, to put this bag to the road test. Will it fit a full face helmet? But before that, let's, let's be a little fair. Let's start with half shells first, right? So, open up the bag. We'll start with this little mini half shell that I, I use. So obviously, that fits in perfect, closes up. Um, take that out. I have this German style uh, helmet here, which will, I haven't tried to put this in because I haven't used this in forever. But, a little lock. Huh? 
that works perfect. And then if you want to put both helmets, if I'm riding with this one and my wife is riding the other one in the back, I'm able to fit both helmets in there, which is great. So two half shell helmets, no issue. Let's take these out and see if we can get this full face helmet in there. Yeah, that's, um, that's not gonna work. Yeah. That's not gonna work. All right, so we'll open up the bag. I already went ahead and I unzippered the second zipper, which allows the bag to extend out a bit more. So that's fully operational now. Um, we can go ahead and we get uh, start with the bag first. Put this in there, just like that. So obviously there's a lot more space still. We can uh, try to, let me see, I'll start with the vans. Put the vans out on the front. Like that. Start with the uh, denim out there. Boom. So with the GoPro box full of goodies, the GoPro, the gloves. Now I'm not even gonna fold this. I'm just gonna throw it in there because there's still a lot of space left in there. Zipper it up. Now, when I put all this stuff in the other bag, it was already completely full. I want to show you guys that I still have a lot more space in there. But that's not only it, because I still have this outer pocket right here, um, which I could pull in more stuff and more clothes, and I could put my goodies or some snacks in here. So that's another option. Um, but yeah, man, that's it. We got it uh, fully zippered ready to go all the stuff fits in there plus more so this right off the bat already is, in a, is fitting a lot more than this bag um should we try to put more stuff in there a little tiny one and see if we could fit it in there with all those stuff already in there as well so we'll just move this sweatshirt this way come it in there so and we got the half shell with the rest of the stuff with a zipper up Yeah, so I got my little half shell with the bag and the pants, the shoes, the hoodie, the GoPro box, a GoPro, and a pair of gloves. And I can still, I can still fit a few more stuff in there, which is awesome. All right, so let's take everything out of here and see if the uh, main components fit in here, which are the most important stuff, helmets. Obviously we know that this half shell helmet fits in there. We'll go ahead and we'll put the other half, uh, half shell helmet and that'll even close. Even when it's not stretched out, it'll fit both of them. So you can even fit three half shell helmets. I mean, if you're riding with three people, then God bless you. But we'll put it to a real test for now. Will it fit a full face helmet? Let's see. Let's see. If it's a full face helmet. You know what? Let's take it. Let's take it one step further. Will it fit a full face helmet and a half shell? One of you guys will be wearing a half shell. We'll put a little puppy in there. Full face helmet plus a half shell helmet. A lot of pros, you guys have done something really, really cool. Now, on top of that, I'm gonna take your bag with you and use it as luggage, then. You could do so. That's probably one of the coolest things you could do with these bags, just take them off, use it as luggage, and go to your hotel room, wherever you're going. Or if you get home from doing shopping, grocery shopping, you take the bags right inside, unload your groceries in the kitchen, which is pretty cool. Anyways, can you take off these stock bags off the road glide? Yeah, but then you're gonna be carrying them like this, like a big baby, and you don't wanna drop them because you don't wanna scratch that paint. At least this material here, not a lot of material, we got the leather material on here. You don't really worry about that messing up. Now, I just also want to get into one last thing because, yes, they do sell these leather pro bags for uh, soft tails, Dynas, FXRs, and a bunch of other cool bikes out there. Um, but what people forget is that you can also put these leather pro bags 
on baggers. So yeah, so if you do want to replace those hard shell bags and use leather pros, in my opinion, it looks really cool. It's different. I mean, no, they're not going to match up the rest of your bike, but it's fine because these bags look kind of cool with that. But let's do a little mock-up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take off the, the hard shell bag and I'm going to put this, I'm going to mock it up right on it and show you guys how it's going to look. That is how, would that stay there? That will stay there. That's how your, your bike will look, which is, let me, let me take a step back and look at this. That's pretty, pretty cool. Let's back this up a bit more. another option right there so if maybe you want to have two separate uh type of bags maybe you're going on a long trip and you want to pack up more on your bagger pack up these bags both of them to the side and then beyond that point if you want to carry more stuff then obviously you put a, a rack in the back get yourself a big bag so you have three bags to roll with um my opinion i think it looks cool um i i would honestly like to see more stuff like this on, on baggers it's just it's just different it's cool um and that's it man so yeah hopefully this video was able to help you out in some type of way i just wanted to do it. i thought it'd be a cool idea just to put both bags head to head see how much uh how much stuff each bag can fit and uh just give you a different look a different perspective if you haven't seen this type of look yet but that's gonna be it. if you want to see more content like this you're definitely in the right place go ahead hit that like button smash that like button matter of fact comment and leave your thoughts down below and don't forget to subscribe I'm gonna leave you guys with that one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. God damn it, I gotta bring all this shit inside.